What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Pandora's Box. We are continuing our little journey through the past with them. Hot retro babes of the past. And it's not all just about the ladies. But speaking of the ladies, let's bring on Retro Nerd Girl. What's Hi. up? <laughs> What's up, Retro? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Now, <laughs> y'all are probably wondering where our other co-host is tonight. He had an emergency, so he could not make it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to postpone the show again because then that would have put us back two weeks and people will be wondering if the show is still happening or not. You know? like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Mikey will be back. Who knows? We might even do a bonus show sometime this week, but we'll see what's going on with Mikey. So if you're here to see Mikey, I'm sorry to say you're just stuck with us. But I sent out a couple of invites to different people and hopefully they might come through. But we it looks like we got a little full house in here, I mean, you know. Yeah. We, and and yeah. if Mikey is is watching the replay, uh, we're thinking about you. Uh, prayers are with you. Yes, for sure, Mikey. Mm -hmm. I know Mikey's just to make it clear, it's a family emergency. It's not Mikey, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you know I want to get everybody worked up. But yes, <laughs> he's just having an emergency pop up in his family, and he's dealing mm -hmm. with it right now. Yeah. So we got good old Brogu in the audience. How you doing? Oh, hey Brogu. Brogu. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, socks. Hey, What's Sox. up, Socks? How are you What's doing? <laughs> we got Teddy Tommy. Hello, Teddy. Kingdom oh, Nerds, Kingdom aka Nerds. Christopher. Hey. What's up, bro? <laughs> DOA. Um, who else? I know I had some from earlier. Where are they at? Well, oh, maybe I, maybe that is it. Everybody for a moment retro. So I wanted to show off something. Oh, because I see. It was is it Wade that's in the? I think Wade's in there. Hi, hi, Wade. Wade yeah, <laughs> Wade's in here. Yeah, he's guess. one of my regulars. Oh, yeah, yeah one of the massive regulars. DC Talk. What's DC up, buddy? Talk, yes. What's up, bro? <laughs> and um, I know No Bazzoni and Zaloni is one of one of my um regulars. What's oh. up, bro? Yeah. Okay. He, <laughs> AKA Phil. He's a cool dude. He's hi, had him Phil. on the show before. <laughs> All right, I think we're caught up retro. Let's I want to show this. The cyborg Ooh. shirt has come in. And these were the ones you really can get from um into the people. I believe it might have ended by now. So if you didn't get one, oh. unfortunately you may not get one now. But I just wanted to show it off. It has the back print too. That's really nice. Let me make sure that wow, that's cool. amazing. Yeah, Noel Leon Flores, the artist, Mikey commissioned to do for him. He is Mikey's Dreamwalker um, artist on his comic. That um, hopefully we'll get some news on that a little later. Oh, uh, some Dreamwalker uh, news about the comic. I hope maybe, so. maybe not. And speaking of comics, I went to the comic book store today. Retro. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, it's been a while. I was in the neighborhood. And I said, hey, you know what? I need to go in a comic store. Mm. And I, I think I did pretty well. I got the new Conan mm -hmm. comic mm -hmm. by Titan. That looks comic. good. I really I re want that. I actually read it earlier. Fantastic art. I don't want to get striked, but there, here we go. Yeah. Cool. Kind of reminds me of the John um, Busima. I think I'm saying it right. From the, 70, you know, the 80s, Conan the Barbarian. Nice. Nice. Yeah, really good art. Pretty cool story. It's definitely adult. Mm. There's um, yeah. I like but, I like it when the comics don't go um, PG and they go hardcore. I like it when they. Yeah, it, it's kind of like um, more like Savage Sword of Conan. Remember those? How they would um, that was the um magazine version of Conan. Okay. So they'd have to do the comic code authority. So they got away with a little more in there. Hmm. Um, topless, you know, girls and things. <laughs> Heads getting flown, off, chopped off. With wow. Yeah. yeah. So they, it's kind of like that. But, you know, so got the new Death Door comic. Wait. Death Door, you know, I'm all into the Frazetta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stuff and yep. all that. And Frank Frazetta, what, a, what an amazing artist. Speaking of Frazetta. Frazetta's um, family and Ralph Bosky, the um, family, I uh, believe, yeah. are involved in this, the Fire mm -hmm. and Ice comic, a yes. pre the movie, the animated movie. 
I at Kingdom of Nerds. I, I got the bag and boards. I'm gonna do it. I'm just just literally just was reading them. That's why I haven't bagged and bored them yet. This mm. one like that because I had to pay for an, a damn variant cover. <laughs> but um, yeah, cool um sword and sorcery type of stuff. That's what I love, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, look who we got in the audience here. Oh, hey Skywalker. <laughs> What's up, Skywalker? We'll be watching you later on your epic um, podcast tonight on Skywalker's channel. Oh, really? Yeah, he's going to have um, Sill on. Cool. Um, Mr. West Ashley Smith, Pilly. And, yeah. And Leon's going to be there for a good what? measure. <laughs> and they're going to be doing, um, from what I can tell by the thumbnail, is um, is James Gunn jealous of Zack Snyder? Oh. Let me know if that's right. Somebody asked me that earlier today, and I was like, I, I don't know. Well, now we're going to find out from Skywalker. <laughs> well, um, Skywalker, I'm sending out invites. If you want to come on, I'm just going to send you one. So give me a second. I know you might be busy, but it'll be in your thing if you want to pop <laughs> in on here. Cool, cool, cool. Retro, um, talk, keep, keep them busy while I... Um, I send this out to Oh, people. sure. I'm well, <laughs> <laughs> putting you on the spot, right? <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, plug your show you did today. And that was a good one. Okay. Well, I'll talk about the show that I did today. Um, well, on Wednesday mornings, I do a nice little, um, I would say a, mor a morning show, I like to call it, where I kind of watch a movie or watch something that's happening in the zeitgeist and talk about it. Um, and today we talked about they cloned Tyrone and it that movie the, this is on Netflix this movie yeah I seen that Tyrone. listed I, I was like okay what is this about let me know oh it's so it's so good I I really was surprised that I would like it because it looks like something I would not like uh -huh. and I I absolutely loved it it was wonderful and um I I was pleasantly surprised um, by it all. So, <laughs> oh, awesome. Um, yeah, it was. It was like, it's like kind of nice in this day and age to find something that you like and that's actually well done. Like, even I the, know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, and the the way it's shot is so beautiful. Like the, it it looks like you can dip your finger into the screen and 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 taste it. It's it's like, it, it looks so beautiful. Um, and then they, um, <laughs> and then they, uh, <laughs> What's up, Charles Austin. Yeah. Man. Oh, Charles Austin. I've been trying to get in contact with you because, um, Friday show, I wanted you to, um, to, to, uh, explain your ideas for re rebooting the franchise of, um, the Terminator franchise. I loved all the things that you had to say. So if you can reach out to me on, send me a message on, um, uh, on uh, Twitter, I would I would love that. I would love for you if you could make it on Friday to talk about your ideas. But uh, back to they cloned Tyrone. It is a very unique story. Uh, it's blending many genres together, uh -huh. sci-fi along with black exploitation uh, '70s uh, with a '70s flavor. I wouldn't say because it's not really supposed to be. Um, it's not. It never tells you what decade it's in but it feels like it's inspired by the 70s um and it goes through a lot of tropes that um are in uh the african-american community uh -huh. and it, at first i was like let me you know i was like <laughs> you know what, what what are they gonna say that's gonna really piss me off <laughs> there you go or what yeah. are they gonna do but then i i stuck with it for a little bit and i was like Okay, they're doing something clever here, and with the sci-fi element, it was it was just so juicy. It was like I haven't seen anything um, really this clever in a long time. Wow! So, yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. I thought I thought it had a, a, a very interesting uh, story plot going on, and the way it ends without giving everything away um, really feels like there could be more to the story. So I wouldn't be surprised if they continue, um, with, um, more of this because it was really good. It was really now, is it, um, like a 12 episode type of thing? No, no, it... no. It's, it's just one movie. Oh, it's a uh, movie. It's not yeah, a series. Yeah. See, yeah. That's yeah. That's why I already thought it was a series. When oh, I, heck I... no. You... <laughs> I don't have time for that. <laughs> I know. 
I just binged the freaking Sopranos. I never seen it. And of course, I'm like, you know, 30 years late on like being pissed oh, off at the ending. <laughs> well, bless you, because I never had I never did. I never did see the um the uh, Sopranos. I only it, heard it's good, but yeah, the yeah. ending is like, yeah, like oh guys, what'd you do? But no, a movie I can handle. That's something I can put on during the day and watch yeah. you know, while I'm doing work and everything. So that's yeah, it was excellent. painless. Yeah, it was painless, truly painless. Um, so yeah, definitely loved it. And um, I did talk about that. And I also talked about um, other news, entertainment news um, that was going on in the- And uh, you pretty in, much go live like every Wednesday morning, right? Every Wednesday, yeah. Um, and, and luckily, cross my fingers, knock on wood, uh, ever since January, I've been doing um, these live streams, uh, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. And without a hitch, I've been- uh, doing them except for maybe one or two times when the power went out but i was <laughs> i think i watched one of those you recovered all right you know oh good <laughs> yeah i think like one time it went out for a split second and you were back and it was like what that was weird oh yeah yeah i don't know it, that happens on occasion and especially if there's any thunderstorms coming through you know can knock out the entire power for for a lot of this area that i'm in so I get lucky. <laughs> yeah. Um, here in San Antonio, we're really prone to um, those strong thunderstorms. And it's almost almost guaranteed if we have one, you're going to lose power for it. So oh. It could be like a, a minute. It could be a, a day. You know, oh. you just never know. You never know. <laughs> you never freaking know with that crap. Okay, what was the deal? My attention span is so horrible. I've only been watching old Twilight Zone episodes. Well, that's oh, a good thing cool. to watch. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh man, yeah. No baloney. Everyone, y'all need to go um, sub oh, the Retro's you. channel. <laughs> thank you so much, No baloney. <laughs> That's one of the reasons we brought her on here. Is <laughs> Skywalker is just trying to get me worked up? Look at this. The river walk sucks. Oh, what's the river walk? <laughs> <laughs> it's our tourist attraction downtown. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> But not, it, eh, you know, it, it really isn't that exciting. But um, it doesn't suck as bad as um, LeBron's um, finals record. I'm just going to say that. Oh, shots fired. Yeah, shots are being fired. I'm going <laughs> to I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> so I know. He's probably going to hop on now, right? <laughs> slings i mean they're just slinging things back and forth <laughs> deep in the heart of texas <laughs> save the album oh my god <laughs> oh man all right let's get started man mm -hmm. let's let's see where um our, our journey in the past i'm gonna miss mikey on this I know. We'll, we'll I, have to finish up with him. We won't, you know. Well, he was pulling it. out. Okay, he was naming all sorts of people I had never even knew existed, and so that's <laughs> kind of. I was like, who, who this? <laughs> but, I know. You know, they were gorgeous, gorgeous, and they. I, I need to see all craft. their material. Okay. Um. Here's um. This isn't from the past, but this is um. I don't know. If, I'm surprised I haven't seen them in the, um the comments, but um. Frazier's been working out, man. <laughs> he is looking good. He's ready with his blasphemy um, muscle shirt. Holy Ladies, lovely. watch out. He is available and ready to party. So And, and fully shaved. All... <laughs> yes. <laughs> totally. No body hair. Not even not on his head. one Well, he has something anyway. left on his head, but uh, we'll yeah. run past on that. But look at that. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to bring up this one because we didn't bring her up last time. And um, Phoebe Cates. Oh, Come wow. On. What a sweetie. I love her. Yeah. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, I think for me, was like the breakout. You know, oh, yeah. everybody, every guy was like, oh, my God, Phoebe Cates back then. And um, remember, she was in Gremlins, too. Yep. Oh, Gremlins. And um, uh, a lot, lots of other things, but I, I'll always remember her from Fast Times. Of course, you know the scene with Brad, uh, where he's, I think fan she... he's fantasizing and she's coming out of the water. And oh yeah, 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 that, yeah that's an <laughs> iconic scene. I, yeah. I think it's memed a million times. Yeah, um, of course. You know, um, he gets the door gets opened while he's unfortunately doing his thing, and she's like, "Oh my God, does anybody knock anymore?" And Brad's busted. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, what a scene. Poor oh, Brad. Man. Yeah, but that scene, but you know, I made her like probably you know superstar in the eighties. Oh, yeah. 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 Does it does the oh everybody's still talking about damn Frazier. <laughs> um well oh. she was in she was in a movie um uh called Paradise and her co star is in um is on my list. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I love that movie, Paradise. It, it was sort of almost like a Blue Lagoon ripoff. I, I don't. I don't even don't remember that one. Oh yeah. I probably seen it. I, when I see a picture of it, I probably be like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Damon has tickets to the next Pius Levis show. Oh shit! You know he's like Beetlejuice. If you say his name, he oh, shall yeah, appear. Yeah. Oh, hey, um, Frazier. <laughs> what's up, Frazier? I was just showing your um, new um, J-Dog workout picture. And what's up, fucking um, Joaba? I don't know Joaba. if anybody watched uh, Francisco's um, Joabity, his um, Jeopardy show where he has contestants comes on and they do um, you know, Jeopardy, but in Joabity form. And it's it's oh. a great one. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Okay. Lap, laps and laps of minute, and of course, Frazier's one of the contestants too. Oh, cool! Yeah, it's a good one. All right. Yeah. So also, just... wanted to to say um, about Phoebe Cates. Um, uh, if you see any recent pictures of her, she still looks absolutely. She still looks pretty good, right? Gorgeous. She's yeah. very. She uh, she aged so beautifully. Um, so a, a just gorgeous woman. Great. Um, bone structure jeans or whatever <laughs> you want to call it <laughs> she was gifted oh yeah you know, yeah and she married jeans. kevin klein um yeah. and i was like wow um because he was really good looking too and so they made such a really beautiful couple but i think he was a lot um older than she was at the time oh at that time married. i think so well, too yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah well you know things back then were a little different on that mm -hmm. oh they still are the same <laughs> <laughs> usually it works in the man's favor right yeah yeah stuff. yeah which I, I i think is cool all right now i'm gonna show one of your picks and Ooh. It, and it ties into something i just showed a minute ago ah Arnold. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, yes, in the heyday of uh, his youth, uh, he was definitely the man. <laughs> Fresh off of, uh, I believe, winning um, uh, Miss, Mr. Olympia after uh, when he started doing the Conan movies. Just amazing. Um, I mean, even um, what's his name couldn't really replace Arnold as Conan Momoa. Oh yeah, no, it's, it wasn't the same. I was, um, I think though. I think Momoa did a great job. At, I do at too. I, I actually of... like that movie. I know a you lot do? of people don't. Yeah, I liked it because not the story, but yeah. Momoa, Momoa actually played yeah. Robert Momoa. E. Howard's Conan. Yeah, like how he, he really great. acted. Because I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but um, no, he was fantastic. <clears throat> the the Arnold version of Conan the Barbarian really Conan doesn't act like that. And if you read yeah. the novels, he, he's mm -hmm. more of a more really outgoing, like you saw Momoa play. But the story, unfortunately, for the Momoa movie was just eh, wasn't well, good. And well, for the Conan movie, they really um, used a lot of the material for King Crawl, uh, King Cole. Um, So uh, he he's has the backstory and the and a lot of the energy of Cull instead of Conan. But Conan, um, uh, and I'll take it, <laughs> but uh, and because they're they're so closely related, they're slightly different. Um, and uh, yeah, Momoa, I think, landed the plane as far as the way he looked. Uh, and I think, um, and, and not that Conan, um, that Arnold did not look like Conan. Oh he no, definitely did. Um, but uh, I believe that Jason really did a great job with what he had. It was the script and every the yeah. story just was a mess, a hot mess. But uh, I, I think it, he, he was it, fine. Yeah, if, if you could have gotten a better script and a better director on there, mm -hmm. I think oh. you probably would have had a new franchise going. Oh, but, yes, indeed. 
Oh, yes, indeed. I mean, just ask one of the fans to help you out with this. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> no. we have better ideas, much yeah. better ideas besides having a situation where a daughter is ma- is trying to make moves on her dad. Like, what? Like, who came up with this, man? Like, who, what There's so much you Conan, on? Conan literature <laughs> out there that this is what you came up with? Yes. Like, what? It was, oh I was like, uh, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what drugs are you on? <laughs> Here, that's a good question did you guys like solomon kane i don't think that movie gets enough credit i liked solomon kane i thought it was um, pretty good i never saw that one who stars in it oh it's um i believe it's is it the rock no no it's um <laughs> L- um wolverine what's his name what hugh jackman isn't it i think why do i think it's hugh jackman am i wrong chat is it who right. Jackman and Solomon Kane? I'm probably wrong, but that's why I, you know, I might be getting it mixed up with Van Helsing in my head because it kind of looked the same. Oh, Let me yes. See. Van Helsing. Love that movie, though. That's um, another good one. Yeah, it's a guilty pleasure of mine, definitely. Um, Solomon Kane, 2009 movie. Let's see who it was. Oh, I see uh, Sin Havoc in the chat. Hi, Sin Havoc. James Purfoy. Purfoy? I guess he's not very popular. James Perfoy? That's who played Solomon Kane. James Game. Perfoy. What is it? I may be pronouncing that wrong. But yeah, he, he it's a good movie regardless. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I got to try to see that one. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Razor is why like, are we, why are we still for, looking? Because <laughs> he's a, he, <laughs> the king is the critic. So here you go, Fraser. <laughs> well, look at that. Because <laughs> we're talking oh, yeah. about Conan, why are you still staring at it so much? Is, yeah. is the interesting question, Fraser. Why are you staring at that? Okay. Oh, you guys are. There is a nod so to Evil bad. Dead. <laughs> I wish I was on that bill. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Conan, Arnold, in his heyday. I mean. Yeah. We could go on and on about how many hits he had, how many, mm-hmm. how the Terminator. Yeah, the Terminator. Total um, Recall. Total Recall. Commando, Predator. Dude, this was yeah. it's insane. Mm-hmm. True Lies. I think True Lies was like the end of his his reign. You know I what? I think you, you could be right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was like, starting like, to really, he was starting to dip into weird stuff by the end. <laughs> Sounds like he was a drug <laughs> addict or something. <laughs> yeah. He was starting to like dip into some, like, I, w- I wouldn't say weird stuff. It was like he was making movies that weren't being, becoming hits like they were. Um, the megas. Yeah. I know yeah. Like, um, and, and like then, the last action hero, like that's what he's trying. Which, which I love. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, why it's a good movie, it. regardless. Yeah. Um, the sixth day is another one I enjoy uh, immensely, but no one likes it. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a. Uh, um, there's a good point. He became governor. Yeah, yeah. I think what movie was it that he did before he became governor? I, that, uh, he did one movie, and then after that, I think it was Terminator. Uh, 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 three was one of uh, was it was it Terminator 3 that he did? Maybe it was, was it one Sa- of the Terminator Salvation? movies. No, yeah, Salvation. Was... Wait a minute, uh, I'm getting them all mixed up. He wasn't in Salvation. This is they did the CGI, oh, right? He, yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. And I think he did one scene where he played like a he had like a voice and he did something weird with him. Um, it, it might have been um, the third Terminator that you're, you may be right. Um, and uh, Running Man, that's another good one, too. Running Man. Was... <laughs> Jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. That is, <laughs> I mean, every Christmas I watch it. <laughs> total Recall. No, I don't What's think it was the total line recall. in that movie? He's like, that, that's my cookie. <laughs> Dude, I used to love when um, he used to come out on Put down um... the cookie. <laughs> What what um what was the, the late night guys show? They they used to do the face and the um, the Arnold voice all the time on well, Conan it, O'Brien. The Conan? Oh okay. And yeah yeah the, yeah. I love you know <laughs> it was just terrible and he always just say 
And don't forget to watch my number. I could be like the middle of like June or something. My number one classic, Jingle All the Way. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh man, yeah, I remember those those cutouts. Yeah, he would interview them. They would just have the face and the, uh -huh. the lips moving. Those were great. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody wishes it could be built like Arnold, dude. Expendables, that was later. That was like kind of the comeback, right? Yeah, that was after his, his governorship. Um, yeah, he um, came back with all great. the action heroes. Those are cool so, movies, too. Yeah, it was so good to see them all back. Get was, to the was, chopper. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Arnold just has, you know, lines you can go uh, on and on yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back. Um, Lasta La Vista, baby. Stick around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. maybe was it Batman and Robin? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, Mr. Freeze. Yeah, maybe that was the movie. Oh, I know I that was uh, no. I don't think that was the last one though. That okay. he was. It was things were starting to go downhill about that now. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Freeze it was, was just like <laughs> it was. Oh my god! But I loved it. I just loved seeing him in that movie, being so weird. It was so good. You, you know, he had a good time. Oh yeah, because I mean, it was I mean, just so <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, here's the classic one. Everybody chill. chill. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about my terrible Arnold impressions. I oh no, I I have the worst, but I love I love trying to do it because it's funny. You know, before I forget, we got it. And it, you know what? We're almost in September. We're just going to go ahead and do this. We got to pay um, respect to the queen of Halloween. Yes. Elvira. I love her. I do too. I love. Francisco's <laughs> been to my house. He saw my Elvira merchandise and posters wow. and everything. Books, collected comics and all that. Elvira rules. So oh, yeah. um, here's some awesome. Oh picks wow! In the coffin, looking sexy. You go, girl! I love her so much. Yeah, uh, I, really and, I mean, her. Cassandra Peterson still to this day oh. pulls off her Elvira costume, man. That's it, amazing. She's in her seventies, guys yeah. and girls. Yeah, I so. don't know how she she does it. She's got magical powers because it's like, especially like looking at how, what she looks like in like her. Outside of the makeups, gorgeous, oh, yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous lady. Yeah. But then she's like presto changeo into like a, a completely other character, and it just um, she's been able to really look the same um, in her getup, which is very unique. Um, and I don't know about you, but I love that movie that she had, the, uh, the Elvira movie. Oh, the eighty nine one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was so. Um, it's a fun cute. movie. It's yeah. funny. Um, Very much in the flavor of um, Pee Wee's uh, Big Adventure, but not. Yeah. Um, it doesn't en encroach upon uh, that space too much. It, no, no. And it, it, but it, it was stays hilarious. And her, um, um, and her type of comedy just in a movie form, you know, the jokes, the gags, you know. <laughs> Do you remember everybody this? falling into her boobs or you know some embarrassing things like yeah, that? Yeah, and it's she just, makes just fun of it. it. She has fun with it. She's not yeah. like, oh, I you know I felt she, I've not heard her at, yet say that she was taken advantage of and that she you know, did all these things and she was um, basically pressed to do it. Like she enjoys doing this truly, and I think it's it's in I I'm endeared to people like that who are like who own their bodies and and own their 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 decisions that they made let's and, even talk and, about that like you know she's come out you know she's you know a lesbian woman you know mm -hmm. and she still doesn't sit there and bag on her past as elvira no 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 she she enjoys it she celebrates it she she gets back in costume as much as and, and possible. she plays the role she plays and, the role um yeah and I was following her for a while on Instagram. I haven't been on Instagram for a while though, but it's she's got you know every season she has something something fun that she kind of gives the fans and um, just just a genuinely nice person to everybody that I've seen her um, interact with. She just um, uh, very quite admirable to be honest with you. Yep, yeah, she she's um. A a national treasure 
and for, yeah. especially yeah. for Halloween too. You know, like who, yeah. who better for Halloween than Elvira? Yeah. Kelly LeBrock. I think we brought her up. In the, yeah, we did bring Kelly LeBrock oh, yeah, up last on the prior week. episode. Yeah. Yep. Gorgeous. Oof. All right. Let's get one of Retro's um, picks in here. <laughs> Who, who do we have? Because some of these I didn't even recognize. I think I did, but let me get down here. How about this one? Oh, yeah. Michael Nori <laughs> from Flashdance. <laughs> oh, my yes. God. <laughs> All the girls just loved Michael Nori. And uh, he was also in one, a movie that I absolutely adore called The Hidden with Kyle MacLachlan. And um, that yeah, he's familiar. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. It, you've got to like. If you haven't seen it, you have to see it. And if you haven't seen it in a while, you've got to revisit it. It's so juicy, so good, so hilarious, so um, wonderful. Um, and um, yeah, he's he's just was you know a handsome guy. He's he's done a lot of other things in his um, career, which a lot of people don't know about. But like he's just done about every TV show you can imagine uh and he's he's got a lot of acting credits a lot of people haven't even seen him though since you know back in the day um flash dancer and all since that. Flash yeah. dance, they're like well you know he's not working anymore no he's he's got hundreds of credits on his uh uh on his uh portfolio so um i just uh wanted to give him a <laughs> A little shout out. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I mean, that's what's cool. You know, not always the obvious choices, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of um, one of my obvious choices, this is like, I didn't quite get when I was a kid, but I thought um, she was so cool in this character. Lily oh, Monster. yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> She's so cool. I yeah, like, I, I loved her so much. Yep. Well, um, Yvonne Craig, did I get it? No, or Yvonne DiCarlo, Yvonne Craig's Batwoman, right? Or Batgirl. Yeah, Yvonne DiCarlo. My my wife's name's Yvonne, too, so I always thought oh. that was cool. Oh, yeah. Nice. What a beautiful name, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah Lil, and I don't know if you, have you ever seen, I know I picked a picture of Lily because I always thought she was hot even back then when I was a kid. I was like, that's a cool lady, you know? And, oh, um, yeah. But you ever seen her outside of Lily? She was a really, um, gorgeous woman she was both pretty and everything. um i think i've seen her and in, in maybe one or two acting credits outside of makeup um you know outside of this uh context. i think she was in um charlotte heston in the bible yes uh right? I, yes she did play uh, a character and i can't yeah. remember which one but she was in that movie that was like one um, of her big credits prior yeah um and one thing i liked about her character and also like all the ladies of like the monsters the adams they definitely had a way of carrying themselves with so much class you know and so mm -hmm. it's just so like uh, it, even with like this outrageous out you know outfit that they're wearing that would have would have been outrageous for the time and not i don't think it's outrageous now but it is um they they managed to have like a certain kind of class and grace uh while also embracing the goth you know very true i also yeah. liked on the monsters how they like they thought everybody else was weirdos <laughs> yes they were like uh oh, the was it the cousin that came by and she's like oh my god she's so, she's so ugly oh, <laughs> no i thought marilyn had it bad <laughs> the, the blonde oh, poor girl <laughs> she's like know, drop dead poor. gorgeous <laughs> That was always hilarious on that show. Good old monsters. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. Let me get out of the screen. And all right. This, this is oh, good. Teddy says Cara Mia. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were, I love that show so much. The the monster. Yeah, I think I have them on all the DVDs, too, of those. I was like, love the oh, monsters. Really? Yeah. Oh, I cool. Love the of all those, like the Adams family and the Munsters, I always lean towards the Munsters. Oh, really? I think it's just because I like the more, I don't know, the goofier shit. Even though mm -hmm. the Munsters, I mean, I'm saying we can be goofy as hell too, but not as goofy as the Munsters. Herman's like all slapstick and all they that. They go crap. for it, didn't Yeah, they went for it, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Herman yeah. was uh, <laughs> just uh, super, super hilarious. Mm -hmm. Always in ridiculous situations and, you know. 
Yeah, it, that right. show was so much fun. Here's on um, one of your picks. Oh yeah, <laughs> Dolph, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. Oh man, I, I had a, such a crush on him when I was um, really young. Um, it's probably an unhealthy crush. <laughs> well, I think you know when we're all teenagers, we uh, we all go through those. So it's there's really nothing, um, you know, not normal. Yeah. To have a, but Dolph was cool too. I mean. What a character, you know, and um, what Rocky Three, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Was it Rocky or was it Rocky Four? Rocky Four. Rocky yeah, Rocky Four. four. I think yeah. three was a uh, Mr. T. <laughs> Mr. Yes, T. Yes, I, I got. I was. I dropped. <laughs> I must break you. And uh, yeah, he was fantastic. I was like, what? Like, was it such shocking? Like, I'm sorry, guys. We're a little, but um, shocking that he killed Apollo. No, that was yeah. Mr. T. Or was it no? See, I'm getting no, all mixed him. up. He, yeah, no, 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 he he did kill Apollo. Um, he wasn't. He, the thing is, is that they set it up, and this is one thing about, I'll think about the movie is really brilliant. And they set it up in the beginning of the build, uh, the movie that he his punch can is is got a certain amount of weight to it, and so he That's can actually right. like kill you with one punch. And uh, yeah, Teddy, Teddy's got it right. If he dies, he dies because he, he, he dies. is just so <laughs> ruthless. And um, uh, I think and, that was one of the thing that, things that was kind of like, that's something you would never say uh, if you were, you know, fighting in a ring. Like, oh, you know, it, where's the sportsmanship in it of it all? And so it, it was very shocking to his, his response as well. Um, and, what a great movie. And to, I mean, we're kind of in that climate again. You know, it was the top um, of the Cold War. Mm, you know, yeah. so then making him a Russian, you know, too, was like great writing on, you know, the writer's parts, too, to get everybody behind the movie, you know, behind Rocky. Because, of course, you know, we were having the Cold War with Russia at the time, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One, one movie that I absolutely adored him in was a uh, Universal Soldier. Of oh, course, that was a and good of course, one. and of course, Masters of the Universe. Um, but for Universal Soldier, I started to see him. I still had a crush on him ridiculously. I, I probably still do. If he really if it comes down to it. If, if 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 I see L Dolph Lundgren, I think I might I might be acting a little weird. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> in in um. The Universal Soldier was the first time I saw him play a bad guy, like a really, really bad guy. And um, his accent was starting to change to the point where you could almost he, he, he lost the accent that he had in his earlier performing um, days. And so I was like, wow, uh, he has really grown as an actor. Um, and, and I thought um, that Universal Soldier was like the turning point for him, him as an actor in my in my eyes i really recognized him to be like not just a pretty face <laughs> yeah you know another underrated movie he was in is what, what i come in peace oh i never saw that oh no oh, retro you're gonna what? love that one okay I i'm gonna write in, this down yeah i come in peace i'm yeah if i remember correctly he was um he was one of the um the cops this alien has, comes to earth and what? has this, this weapon that shoots like this disc weapon and it just like chops up everybody's arms and heads off, and um, yeah. What? I think it's I come in peace, and I, I my memory says he's in it, but let me look up the old internet here and make sure. But I think I only seen it a couple times. I come in peace movie, yeah. I hope I'm not wrong. Yeah, Dolph Lundgren. He was in. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, check that one out, man. You'll like it. And I, I had only just recently found out that he was he played the Punisher at some point, and I'm like, what? What? Where have I been? Oh yeah, um, DOA. Well, that's what he's saying. That horrible Punisher movie. You now, you know what? I don't really hate that Punisher movie. I okay. the yes, I know he didn't get the the correct costume as the Punisher in it. And that did suck. But for a low budget action movie. I enjoyed it. I thought, and uh, actually, the finale is pretty cool, where you have to go through the whole yakuza, the you know, and they're just fighting with them, and I thought that was pretty good for a direct to video movie. I got um, oh, it was direct to a video, yeah, back in the eighties okay. or nineties. I think it was nineties. Um, but it was um, 
I got the Blu-ray, and it also comes with um an uncut ver- the uncut version of the movie too on a DVD. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty pretty violent when you get that. <gasps> That one. <laughs> all right we'll oh, have to be i mean yeah i heard brogu corrected me he was in i come in peace yeah check out okay. i come in peace i come That's in peace good, yeah what was this i just saw a few days ago my brother batman the new version the new batman oh you're probably talking about um sparkle bat yeah oh okay <laughs> Okay. Okay. So everybody's more talking recommend, about yeah. more, more recommendations. Okay. I gotta. Uh, I gotta see that. We got Josh Herrera in the the chat. What's up, oh, Josh? Hey, Josh. Hi. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> now, um, now I went Fraser's through every requesting single... to be on the show. I don't know. We'll let the, um, We'll see what happens, Fraser. How long? Because I didn't want to be on too long. But if, we might let Fraser on at the end. If he oh, um, okay. behaves, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't know that he was. Um, uh, it says here that uh, he was in a lot of um, canon films, I guess. But he, I, I went through every single can, canon film. I did not see Punisher, um, unless if that unless that was it was a different movie you were talking about. Um, I've somehow have become a an expert on canon films. So <laughs> yeah, ask me yeah. any question about canon films. I'll, I'll How many streams you. did you do on canon films? Like um, three? Ooh, I think three, if memory serves me correctly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun, though. It was a lot of fun going through all their movies. I remember, like, even in the 80s, if you saw canon, like, from people like me, we knew it was going to be a good movie. Yeah, it, it was going to be was, fun. It's going to be yeah. action, you know. Yeah. What's, we knew it wasn't going to be like a big budget spectacular no, thing, but we knew gonna, what we were getting into, you know. Yeah, you weren't going to cry from the dramatics. You weren't going to, like, no. clutch your pearls because, you know, uh, this was Oscar-worthy <laughs> material. This is this is full schlock, you know, explosions, uh, ninjas, and, uh, you know, just go for it. Uh, the, I loved it. This is from, from um, Sam. He goes, can you have Ranger's niece from England on? <laughs> yeah. If you've seen the picture, you know why he was asking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Remember when we almost got a canon Spider-Man movie? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I do remember that almost oh, happening. Yeah. yeah. Canon Spider-Man movie. <laughs> All right. What do oh, I have that, left? Oh, and you know who was going to star in it, right? I don't even remember. Jean Claude Van Damme. He was in Spider <laughs> Peter Parker. Oh, and then and they were also looking at uh, Michael Dudikoff, but I don't know if they they were just pulling his leg on that one. Um, that would have been wild. Yeah, because Michael Dudikoff, I think was he, I think he he was somebody who could have been a star and uh, like a bigger star. I mean, he is a star in his own right, but he he could have been a bigger star and given more work. But you know. Unfortunately, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Now, here I'm gonna pick a super obvious one that I'm sure every kid from the 70s will remember. Oh, Three's Company. Now, remember, you, you picked John Ritter last week, did I? Yeah, I think you did put John Ritter in, um, your, in I... one of your three picks. Yeah, and unfortunately, I think I deleted all of those. I know. Well, yeah, let me look back. I, I do have yeah. it handy. Um, but I, I that's not a magic thing. Yeah, but I'm not think... talking about John Ritter. I, I'm picking um, Suzanne <laughs> Summers and, um, oh, oh, God, what's her name? J- Joyce? Um, I Joyce Janet. Uh, Josh, oh, this, I'll go Josh by the name. Thank and you, Janet. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Christy yeah, and Janet. Christy and Janet. Yeah, they were, they were gorgeous. Um, mm-hmm. and, and people were really, um, Suzanne Summers, what, and she still is pretty foxy. Joyce Duet, that's it. Um, there you go, socks. Thank you. Sir. Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, her name. And, and of course, um, Jack, Jack Tripper. Yeah. Um, I mean, remember that great scene of the show? Um, you know, you got Janet walking down the beach, and Jack looks back and wrecks his bike, and you know, of course, makes the comical face, and yeah, <laughs> that's where he's coming in a nutshell. You know. Just, yeah, goofy Jack stuff. tripping around, you know. Oh, yeah. and, and of course the classic misunderstandings, you know. Yeah. They always thought, you know, 
they would overhear something and they're talking about something else, but everybody would assume they're talking about, you know, sex or drugs or something. It was always hilarious, man. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was, you know, there's a lot of um, double uh, double entendres or whatever. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, you, you said what I said. Very sexy, <laughs> very sexy, but no sex. Very yeah, interesting. exactly. And um, um, I, I don't think he's on my list, and I'll tell you why, because I, I think he's a great actor, but I just never looked at him that way. <laughs> really? Why the, maybe, I don't know why I thought, I guess, why are you that genre on there? <laughs> Oh, well. I mean, yeah, I, I, I always, <laughs> he's like the guy, the friend zone guy. <laughs> <laughs> Regulated. You go for Dolph Lundgren, you friend zone this guy. <laughs> yeah, he, he's fun to hang around with, but that's, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, notice zone. like he never hooked up with any of the, you know, the girls on the, in the, um, so we thought or think. <laughs> well, um. Yeah, but he was hooking up with girls left and right outside of the apartment. Yes, wasn't he though? Yeah, I was, he, I was surprised. I was like, "Wow, this show is really <laughs> spicy." Uh, what was the neighbor upstairs? The, the oh. I guess you would call her a milf nowadays. Always on it. She was on, on oh. his ass too. Always wanting to get him. Oh, uh, I'm not, I don't remember. I just always remember that other that creepy guy that used to always come to that place. Larry. Like, like googling the ladies i was like calm down that, that was i think larry the car sells yeah what? was it larry because there were there were there was oh um, mr roper and he, mr yeah. furley and all them too yeah and... yeah they all kind of seemed a little weird but <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I was skywalker retro friend zoning these kids <laughs> That was kind of a bomb. Retro. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> that was a, a bomb. I'm Pandora's box by Retro Nerd Girl. Friend Not zoning. saying like you can friend zone somebody and then fall in love with them. You never know. But there <laughs> yeah, are just some people know. you're just you're just like immediately attracted to, right? And that's you know the hot ones. <laughs> well, you know, you know right away, like that person is not getting friend zoned. You know? Exactly. You're yeah. you're like let's um let's skip the pleasantries and and move as fast as we can to this other. <laughs> <laughs> Lana. Let's lock them Ta down right now. That was the lady's name, Lana. Teddy Tommy. Lana. She up upstairs. She was uh always asked after um um Jack and everything. I think Mr. Furley was always hot for her too. Why are we oh. talking about this? See if fucking Three's Company, man. That was such Helen, a great show. That was Helen Roper was actually pretty funny too on the show. Yeah, it was a good <laughs> show. Man. John Richter also died the same day. Johnny Aww. Cash. Did. Oh, that's what the weird um, yeah, going to be there. That was super sad that he um, died there. Um, so young. I I thought yeah, he was really yeah, young. He was young. too too young to die. But um, his son world. is his name, Cold World. <laughs> <laughs> friend zone lucky ducky from pretty and pink oh, oh friend zone like i'm sorry i read that wrong friend zone like yeah poor ducky he couldn't win ducky yeah i felt really bad for him <laughs> just me i've been friend zone a lot so <laughs> <laughs> it happens right hey hey that's the them's the breaks <laughs> them are the breaks all right okay we're gonna pick a retro this is one of your picks Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> speak of speak of it. <laughs> this is from Starman. Um, I remember that movie. Yeah, yeah. He he definitely had a specific like um, um, cadence to his um, language and everything that was really different in this movie. Uh -huh. But uh, I thought. Uh, I thought in general he was a good looking guy um, and especially with him being in Tron uh, I thought he was fantastic it, it's Tr one of the no, Jeff, Bridges. Oh, and, oh, Jeff Bridges in case anyone um. <laughs> yeah we gotta mm -hmm. oh listen let's read this the likelihood of getting out of a friend zone once placed in it has a worse odds than Han Solo navigating the as an asteroid field uh, true. <laughs> it's, really true. It, it's true. Yeah. 
I forgot so to hard. add one person here, so I'm gonna do something <laughs> real quick. Because this is um one of my picks. And I was like, damn it, it's not in the damn file. So give me a second. And um, yeah, he he's definitely one of those leading men um of the 80s and and definitely you know he later on he did some really great um things but um against all odds is like one of those movies where i think he was really the sexiest if you will um <laughs> there was there was something he had some like serious uh uh vibes happening in that movie uh -huh. and uh, he had like a full beard and he was you know had a, I don't know the pheromones were coming off the screen, the screen, and definitely a lot of women fell in love with uh, Jeff Bridges from that movie alone. I, I do remember that back then. I remember the ladies talking about Jeff yeah, Bridges and Rachel, a lot back then. Yeah, yeah, and Rachel Ward in the movie. Those two made such a sexy couple, and it was just, uh, just a, an, an incredible, um, just incredible movie for the both of them. We, we still got people talking about Three's oh, Company. This is Roper. <laughs> this is Roper was kind of sexy for her age. She was always trying to get Stanley to give her some hot loving down by the fire. <laughs> <laughs> that was true. Stanley was holding out on poor Mrs. Roper all the time, man. What? Yeah, what was up with that? I didn't just be the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Skywalker uh, says he's made it out twice. I'm assuming he's talking about the friend zone. Yeah, the fr the friend zone. Um, yeah. Well, I wouldn't know because it's never happened to Necron. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking shit. <laughs> Starman but yeah, it's was not a great the movie. end though. Yeah, it's not the end if you're in friend zone, but um. I think no, the best place to start off is being friends first and then find out if there's really something. Um... Let, well, let me just say this. You know, I know like most guys, we know how we are. But if you have some lady friends, sometimes it's good not to always be that way with them. And actually, you can get some insight to things you, that can help you out elsewhere if you stay friends with some ladies. And so just trying to be that dog, you know, all the time. Mm. Good Frazier advice. doesn't know. She picked shirtless <laughs> men. <laughs> They're all yeah. I'm sorry. They were all shirtless, except for Michael Murray. He was fully clothed. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't believe Both. it. Retro has never been friends on Bro oh, You. So sweet. <laughs> Bro You knows what's up. Yeah. Did he play oh. Tucker too? I think we're talking about Jeff. Tucker. Bridges. I don't know. I don't know who Tucker is. Tucker and the um, Tucker versus Evil Dead, or what was that? The okay, I already said that. Retro, who is your man crush? Um, I don't really have one right now, but if there was one, it would it would definitely be like a Henry Cavill or something like that. I mean, you, you can't go with, wrong with Henry Cavill. Everybody loves him. So that's um, pretty. I would say a it's like everybody modern, obvious. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That's How the everything. fuck are these companies dropping Henry Cavill? I just don't get it. I don't know. I, like, like Henry Cavill is the kind of handsome that even you know guys like him, girls like, like older women like him, younger say, women like him. Say what like you him. will. You can say no, Necron, you know, you're gay or whatever. But <laughs> there's certain guys, even guys can see and go like, yeah, he's a good looking guy. Yeah. 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 You know. And I Some think guys, you're whole... like, you're you're dumbfounded. Like, really? Chicks think that guy's hot. Henry Cavill. <laughs> Even guys got to admit, come on, man. It's fucking yeah. Superman. Look at him, man. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a no-brainer, right? And The um... Witcher? How are you, you going to go for... <laughs> you got, you know, the Henry Cavill is a Witcher, and now we're all going to get great value Witcher, you know? It's just, mm. that's... <laughs> I don't know how they're going to recover from that. Um, I well, I haven't seen the show. Maybe one day I'll. I'll um, the show is pretty good. I'll binge it, especially maybe the I'm... first season. You'll really like it. Oh, okay. Skywalker busting my balls. We all can't be stud like Necron. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What's man. that? Friends with benefits, though. Oh, that's a that's not a bad one to be in. I'm sure. 
The movie is Tucker, <laughs> Jeff Bridges. Yeah, that's what I thought he was talking about. Oh, it's Tucker. Been a while. Okay, that's been that's ooh, that's bringing it. Who that's the a hell deep is cut, that? Deep Who cut. is this guy? Never heard of him. Frazier. He's from. <laughs> you never heard of Jeff Bridges? You need to watch. Well, I can't tell him to watch more TV because every time he sends me a message, he's watching TV. So I don't know. I do like the characters that Jeff Bridges are playing in his older age. He's kind of always plays like a grizzled kind of character. Even, you know, in Iron Man, the first Iron Man, he's playing sort of a, a you know, a mm -hmm. ruthless kind of character. But he just, he just knows how to really um, pull off like a deep sense of like when he's in the room, you, you, you want to hear what he's got to say. Um, I, I love that about his acting and he's a lot different though. When you, when you watch interviews with him, he's much more humble, much more uh, understated um, and very respectful. But when he's on, got the camera on him and it's his time, he just, you know, really shines. Frazier doesn't know Henry Cavill is. <laughs> Frazier, look up Superman and type in Superman Henry Cavill, and that's who Henry Cavill is. And um, if you can start making yourself look like him, you'll have some <laughs> lady action that you probably don't even know. What to do lady with action. <laughs> I don't have to say that nice. All right. I am in love with Gal Gadot. Who isn't? Who isn't? Yeah. I was going to say, that's another one. Like, were they really going to let her go as Wonder Woman? Yeah, I think like, that, are, that, it, that may be the smartest move that they, they actually kept her, but it just doesn't make sense in, you know, continuity-wise why they would keep her either. So it's a, it's a tough thing. I don't want I don't know what kind of interesting thing we're going to get in the future. That's the only move that makes sense to me. Yeah. Hashtag sells the SJL to Netflix. Hashtag sells Snyderverse to Netflix. <laughs> We got to get all the Snyderverse over to Netflix. Keep hashtagging it. Keep supporting it. Keep supporting Cy Walker and his efforts and the rest of um, Cell Nation and Cool Table. That's oh, yeah, my um, public service announcement for the Cell movement. It's the only way we're going to get this real DC back. Yeah. All right. That's what, how it's looking now. It's looking really, really bad. It's almost like they're trying to destroy it from the inside out. Yeah. I mean... If you look at it from a logical perspective, it really does come off like that. I don't see how anyone else could come to the conclusion that's not what they're doing. But, mm -hmm. you know. They're trying to break up the band, too. I don't like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff um, Bridges and True Grit, Hell or High Water, and, and the one he played the singer. Oh, that was, he, remember Lady Gaga? Didn't he do that with her? That new version of um, A Star is Born or something? Wasn't that a Jeff Star Bridges? A Star is Born. He played, he did, because um, I know Chris Christopherson did it with Barbara Streisand. Yeah. Uh, help um, me out, chat. Am I thinking of the right Jeff thing? Abridged crew, crew. Uh, uh, yeah, I think Lady Gaga did some movie with him of a new version of The Star is Born. Um, she did that with Bradley um, Cooper. Bra yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I get confused. I'm old, but I'm trying to do this <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. Now, did. Whose turn is it? Okay. Yeah, I know who I'm going to pick now. Oh, oh. I Drum can't wait. Roll. And oh. my wife can't understand why guys love her. And I'm like, are you serious? Here we go. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think someone's hating is what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, across the board, no matter race, no matter age, people love Jennifer Connelly, and mm -hmm. it started back from the days of the labyrinth uh, when she played that innocent girl. Well, she wasn't so, it, it, but she was just, <laughs> she looked yeah. like such a beautiful little innocent girl, and she basically still looks a lot the same. She looks um, great in Maverick. Yeah. Um, I'm like, well, dang. We remember when uh, Skywalker, uh, I don't know if you were in a, were you there when we, Watch Dark City together. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Okay, the way she looks in Dark City, and the way she looks now, it's hardly a difference. I, I don't know where the wrinkles are. Like, they're, they're, like she looks the same, 
And that's pretty remarkable, not even in, for Dark Hollywood. Dark City was like, what, 99 or something? I think 98. 98 uh, oh, okay. yeah. it, could be, it could have been 99. I, th I thought it was 98. But, but yeah, late 90s sometime. Yeah, yeah. late 90s, uh, moving into the aughts. She basically looks the same. And it's just, it blows my mind because I'm like, wow, uh, you're a gorgeous woman and you must have incredible genes. To be able to um, keep that. Also, um, you know, she with the things I didn't even know. Wow, oh, okay. She had Good. a breast reduction. Oh, in really? Hollywood, Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the other, other way. way. Down, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, wow. um, when I was um, you know, a teenager and the commercials came out for career opportunities, we were, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. You know, <laughs> uh, all the guys were sold, man. We all wanted to go see career up. She was, you know, everybody was talking about her. You know, it was, she was um pretty hot, pretty beautiful. Yeah. And I really enjoyed the movie, and I think it's underrated, but um, The Rocketeer. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. that's a good movie. And she's in it, too, so it makes she it even better. So, such a classic beauty in, in uh, The Rocketeer. Um and with all of those really incredible actors, and she's so young, she kept up with everybody. Um, well, she's been acting since she was a kid. Um, I think her first job, I think, was, um, I'm not sure if it was Possession. Uh, it was sort of like a scary movie where um, actually on set. Is that the Italian one, right? With I, um, Tenebre, is what they call it in Italy? Yeah. I think so. I think so. Dario Argento. Uh, I, I yeah, that's an I'm, Argento movie. Is it me, okay? Yeah, let me double check. Um, she, um, on I believe one of the first couple of days on set, there was like a monkey on the set. He bit off her finger. That's right. She, she's a kid. She's a kid, like think of fifteen or something, something ridiculously young, thirteen or fifteen. And um, when they asked, you know, asked her about it, of course, they sewed it back on and she's fine. Um, or they just un unfroze her clone. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, she, um, <laughs> uh, and they. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> oh, phenomena, phenomena. Phenomenon. Or it's also known as Tenambri. Oh, and okay. it's Dario Argento was a director. That's the movie I think they're talking about. Yeah, that is the one I'm talking about. I forgot what I what I called it before, but he knew what I was talking about. Um, yeah, she, um, yeah. And then uh, a few years later when she was doing um, uh, The Labyrinth, I saw this interview with her and she was so adult, like grown up and logical. And it was it was kind of like wow, she was put together when she was even young. Like the the things that she was saying in the, the way maturity she was, already was mm -hmm. so like yeah, it was so it was like she was an adult, you know. Um, and so uh, I have a lot of admiration and respect for for her, um, especially in her younger days, having to navigate through Hollywood and. Um, and surviving through that too, because I'm sure starting so been... young as a teenager as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, she was a teenager. Jeez. Yeah. And in the back 80s, then. Yeah, in the 80s, and and it was rampant um, that you know many of the young um, men and women in Hollywood were uh, taken advantage of. For sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> How did they get her finger back from the monkey? I don't know. <laughs> They I mean, gave the monkey's like, paw back to him, but don't. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, they may have just, um, you know, unfroze her from the the cloning vat. <laughs> yeah. and, and the real, <laughs> <laughs> the real lady is like somewhere in, uh, you know, somewhere we don't we don't even right know where she's at. The, she wasn't in Life Force, was she? Am I thinking of somebody? No, else? no. That, okay, uh, I'm thinking yeah, of the other girl, yeah. Matilda May. I knew you know it. I knew yeah. You know it. All right, let's yeah. pick one of Retro's picks. Help me, because I, I know the <laughs> face, but I don't remember the name. Oh, man. Um, it is Dennis Quaid. 
Well, Dennis other, Quaid, thank you, yeah, God. And it's Damn interesting it. because um, Jeff Bridges has a brother. I forgot his brother's name, and uh, Jeff Bridges, um, and uh, <laughs> and um, Dennis Quaid has a brother we all know about. Um, his brother, uh, unfortunately, um, uh, you know, I'm not sure what <laughs> what exactly happened to his brother, but uh, Dennis Quaid was um, a a heartthrob for sure. Uh, one of my back favorite. Then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. One of my favorite movies from him it would be Dreamscape in an uh, oh, inner yeah. inner space too. Inner space was good. There was you know, there were quite a few, but he um, was able. You know, he just had a certain kind of charm, and it was a good looking guy. Um, and he is. He has a shirt on, guys. <laughs> he actually has a suit on it looks like yeah yeah he's yeah. not naked everyone <laughs> yeah i remember dennis quaid but he was a he was a star of the 80s for sure man. yeah yeah definitely had his um following you know he put his name on a movie people would show up absolutely All right. yeah uh, here's here's one of my oddball picks but i'm sure the metal heads are gonna love it leanna quigley Remember, she was the um, Return of the Living. Oh, you don't watch horror movies, so you probably don't know. Oh, okay. Well, she anyway. was a, one of the punkers in Return of the Living Dead, and she had an obsession with death. And of course, she gets turned into one of the zombies and becomes one of the little like leading zombies, I guess, in the movie. Holy moly! Okay, uh, Leanna Quigley. Quigley. Oh wow! Okay, oh, here, I love it. Some trivia: Dennis Quaid's son is in Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, yes. I didn't. He was also his his son is also in. I believe. I don't know. I thought he was in the boys. Was was he in the boys? Let me know if I'm wrong about that. Um, Vice Squad, Necron. Yeah, Leanna Quigley was. Um, Yeah, that, I would go along with that, Socks. This chick had a strange sex fetish, and I know she must have wanted to bang a zombie, LOL. I think she, <laughs> yeah. yeah, now it's coming back. I think she wanted to, to have, like, talking about having sex with a dead person or something like that in the movie. Am I remembering that right? Return of Living Dead and Shave 2. <laughs> wow. And, and, but she also um, starred in um, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, which is a cult classic. Is, the movies she starred in aren't really scary retro they're just more like horror comedies i would say but holly chainsaw hookers has um the the original um leatherface hunt gunther gunther hansen am i saying it right i think he's the original one um i'm going off the top of my head but that's why they call it hollywood chainsaw hookers and they would you know of course you know chainsaw huh. their victims it was a hilarious wow. b movie yeah, I never heard of this movie. I never saw this. Yeah, movie. It, it, it was like if Mikey was here, he'd be like, "Oh yeah," <laughs> he would know what's up. Yeah, it was, it was all like Fangoria, like she was like an '80s um, underground screen um, screen queen back then. Yeah, oh, like, okay. Like, yeah, she's pretty cool. I think she does all the horror conventions and all that too nowadays, and all that fun stuff. Cool. Yes, sir. I can't wait to to um, find out more about her and explore some of her films. And I don't know if I pulled this one up. I'm gonna do a quick one, real quick. Do some musical. Um, Wendy Williams oh. from the Plasmatics. Maybe not the most beautiful woman, but damn, she just what had a body. <laughs> what a body, and just her attitude. Yeah, energy. It, yeah, yeah. Like her attitude just made her hot, you know, because she was yeah. just like, no f's given, does whatever the hell she wants, takes no shit. Wendy Williams, rest in peace. I um, and I love the Plasmatics, so that was one of my one of my favorite bands when I was a little teenager, especially the Coop D Attack. I saw them open for a Kiss. That's how I found out about them when I was oh. just a kid. Yeah, she tore huh. it up. I was like, what is this Plasmatics band? This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, Debbie Harry. Oh, Debbie. Blondie. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta give her some love from the 80s. Oh, she's iconic. 
All right. All right. Oh, Did we show this one last time? I don't remember, but we're going to talk about them because I know ladies yeah. can never get enough of Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Patrick Swayze, yes. Uh, just um, amazing. Um, of course, um, we all remember uh, when he passed on, uh, how he had to to you know had to suffer so much as he did um uh, but before then he, he had such a great career and i think it was oh, it yeah. was just about to really you know get more exciting for him uh, if his health was wasn't compromised um because you know he was just taking more interesting jobs i think one of the later gigs that he had was um uh the uh tufung tufung <laughs> what is it called tufung do you guys remember where he played the drag queen? Um, really? Oh, geez, yes. Um, I know what movie you're talking about. I don't remember the name. Julie but Newmar, um, something. <laughs> two Fung Two, I think, um, with Le Wesley Snipes, um, and it was like it, it was so good. He was so good in the film, uh, but uh, you know that was like one of his later things. But of course, everybody the the classic movie he's been in, uh, Ghost. Um, Roadhouse. Roadhouse, Roadhouse um, is like even all the dudes love that one. Oh right? yeah, uh, Point Break. Point Break, classic. Oh my yeah. god, yeah, Point Break was just incredible. He was in The Outsiders, um, and a, a few other movies, but just uh, just a really wonderful body of work. And he really, um, I, I thought. Uh, he was he was on the road to something incredible as far as his career is concerned. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate all that. Yeah, cancer crap happened and all that. Yeah, and and also what? Yeah, Josh says uh, two Wong Fu. I always get it mixed up. <laughs> there you go. Two Wong Fu. I give uh, thinking uh, uh, two Feng Wu. <laughs> so the, but yes, um, uh, Frazier, oh. oh, thank you, Frazier. <laughs> this is a good call out. Um, Ted Killer, I love the plasmatics and Blondie Berlin rule too. Yes, Terry Nine oh, Berlin. Girl. We gotta give her yeah, her credit. Berlin. She's a beautiful lady and a, that band is talented. I also um, I should have put up Missing Persons. Del Bozio was a pretty freaking awesome too. All right, Patrick Swayze, shout out to him because he yeah. made some killer movies. Yeah, and, and, and Roadhouse is classic. I mean, oh yeah, day, it, it really day. is. It really is. And of course, everybody loves and. Oh, oh, what's the other one that the, Dirty Dancing? That's the the big oh, one. Oh yeah, yeah. They, I forgot about Dirty Dancing. <laughs> that uh, was a super huge hit. Even though yeah. it was set in the '60s, it had no '60s music, man. <laughs> you know. Oh, Red um, Dawn. Oh, Red Dawn. Fuck yeah! Oh, look, oh, we got wow, a guest. Wow, 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 wow. We got some guests rolling through. Oh, well, who is it? We are adding Francisco to hey, the show. Francisco, from jamming out all badass. <laughs> Like my background. Uh, yeah, like oh, Daisy Duke. Yes. There you go. I, I figured I'd try to fit the theme of the show, you know? Well, Daisy Duke was, she was the, the idol for most girls in the 70s, uh, definitely, and in early 80s. So, yeah, that's a good one. She was the idol and she was um, the lust for most men and <laughs> guys in the 70s, too. I'm sure. Yeah. I am that's so sure. Catherine Bach. Blade as a drag queen. That's right. Oh, yeah. 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 As Fraser says, yep, F cancer. Huh? Now, yeah. Yes, I missed. What, um, I know you're coming on late, Francisco. Is there anybody, um, that we didn't talk about that maybe you thought of? Why, um, oh, or... I don't know. I don't know. I was, I was kind of, I was watching the baseball game, so I figured I'd jump on for a little bit, but, uh, no, I can't. I don't know who all you got. Obviously, the one I have in the background is one of them, right? Yeah, uh, I mean that's pretty pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, and then no, I didn't, I didn't really put too, I didn't put any thought. I, I was gonna say okay. I didn't put too much <laughs> you're just hopping into, on. Yeah, that's I didn't put good. any thought into it. So. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sure we can talk. Actually, about this yeah. About what? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, well, I just saw Ted's comment. I was gonna bring bring them up because that's like one of my all time favorite bands, the Go Go's. Which one? Oh, the go 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 which 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 member? I mean, you know, this is go 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 go
No, I, I, Jane. I heard a lot of people talk about Jane. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Jane. Well, she was in um, quite a few movies as well, right? Yeah, she was in um, Ted and uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Correct. Yeah, and um, I think there's one other one that I'm thinking of that she just she just showed up, but she didn't speak. Oh, in Clue. She was in Clue for like a small moment. She played um, the um, uh, dancing telegram, and they shot her like almost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I love the retro of it all. these just like bam, fact. <laughs> well, I it's so I watched. Uh, we had a watch party for it the other day. Uh, well, not the other day, but a few weeks back, and I was like, oh, there, we know this lady. <laughs> That's um, hilarious. Yeah, but, but Belinda Carlisle was my crush. I thought she was beautiful. She had a ridiculous like bone structure. So um, when she came out with her solo album, I, I was just like, I just loved every song, and I just loved her so much. Yeah, yeah Belinda, and then, uh, Belinda Susanna Hobbs. Oh yeah, yeah, from, from um, the Bangles. The Bangles, yeah, she was beautiful. That's probably my favorite go go song though. Our lips are sealed. What's yours, mm -hmm. Francisco? Ooh, good question. I know you Francisco is a big go go's fan. I would yeah. say I'm a moderate. I've seen him, go I've seen him play I've seen him play live probably about, I don't know, six, seven, eight times, maybe. What? Uh, that's yeah, pretty oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, no, no, totally, totally. Uh, that's a tough question. Probably I don't know. Uh, the, the first album was my favorite one. Uh, there's a song. Uh, Tonight is a good song. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I go. I I know the deep cuts. I know everything about them. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, they my have favorite. Hits, you know. My favorite is definitely Vacation because I think that's the first song I ever heard from them and uh, uh it's, it's great, like an earworm yeah it's, no, it's an earworm because as soon as you you hear it you're like nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Just, it it's really earworm. like fun yeah they wrote good they little catchy catchy. Tunes. yeah yeah well so, and we melodies. got the beat Shit. oh yes oh gosh yes. yeah that's a, that was a good one that yeah. was so good yeah my poor the, mom uh, had to listen yeah, to me sing the those songs all over the house <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen them plenty. The classic MTV era, you know, that when it first so started cool. and they had real bands and just kicking ass watching all that shit. All right, here, here's yeah. one that's going to be pretty obvious Charlie's oh. Angels. Yeah. yeah. All three of them, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. My, my, my specific favorite was always Jacqueline Smith, though. Um, loved her so much. Um, and then she, um, she of course became a, an entrepreneur and had all of these um, items in Kmart. And I, I was like, she is so smart. She, I was, I was so. Really? I, I didn't know I, that. Oh yeah, yeah, she had like. Even I knew that, Carl. No, I didn't do any <laughs> research. I just took pictures and threw them in here. Um, I, yeah, she, she. Well, I, I remember growing up seeing her stuff in in Kmart. Was um, it like what what type of um, items was it makeup had, or like actual products? Yeah, yeah. She had bed linens. She had uh, clothing pieces. She would also be on sometimes go on um, QVC or Home Shopping, one of them, and and advertise some like new uh, clothing combo that she uh, she was um, she had put together with her stylist team and. Uh, so she was. She really uh, went for the business uh, aspect of it. Uh, oh yeah, and Cheryl Ladd. I, I love Cheryl Ladd. They're they're all just yep. wonderful ladies. But my favorite was was definitely um, Jacqueline Smith. She was uh, an idol for me. Yeah, well, Farrah Fawcett sold a lot of posters. <laughs> yes. that damn poster was there Iconic. back then. Yep. Yeah, it, it's part yeah. of um, American iconic. Iconography or oh, iconography. <laughs> we got to bring this up because this is true. Hey, Cheryl Ladd owns um, homes on both sides of me. I see her at HOA. What? Meetings. Yeah, he does. That is so cool. And she is so wonderful. I love um, Cheryl Ladd. Um, my favorite um, thing from her is a movie called Millennium. 
uh-huh. uh, which I which I reviewed, uh, and she, it, it was see one of the uh, she did a couple of movies like mainstream movies, but that was the one that she actually starred in, and I was like the whole the whole movie I'm like this because <laughs> 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 I love her so much. Charlotte, I had daughter play some horror movies. All right. Oh, um, good. Teddy says she's still beautiful. Cheryl Ladd. Oh, wow. And oh, yeah, now she's doing a lot of Christmas movies because I've seen her in, a, in a, quite a few Christmas movies. Uh, Is from this Home true? Off. Wasn't one of them the stepmom to the guy in DI? That. The hell out of me. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, okay. The only punk rock connection I know to Hollywood is Brandon Cruz, who was in Dr. No, was the kid in um, uh, Bad News Bears. He was Joey, the pitcher on the Bad News Bears on the Yankees, the original Bad News Bears. Really? Yeah, that's Brandon is Cruz. Is that the, yeah. sing the singer, the main guy? Well, he was yeah. He was he was in the band at one point, but yeah, he okay. was in, 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 and he's the one that took over for Jello and DKs for a little bit. After, well, after the during the reunion things or whatever, but he was also yeah. in uh, what is that? What is that? It's like an old seventies show. I'll, I'll I'll come back. You know, let me Google it. But uh, that's the only real punk rock connection that I know to uh, to Hollywood. Well, um, I'm sure there's I, more at least that I could think of. Jeff was telling me, and, and I believe him because he knows the guy. Um, the I think it's the main guy from Doctor No is an effects guy for Hollywood now, or one oh, of the wow. guys in there. Oh, the Kyle, yeah, oh, right. The courtship. He was the kid on the courtship of Eddie's father. <laughs> I remember kid. that name of that show. Yeah, he was. He ended up being like a. Well, he's still he's still a total punk rocker guy. Yeah. yeah um. Yeah, the dude's like an effects guy, and like he did um the effects like Battlestar Galactica and all and stuff it's like probably that. Probably Kyle, yeah. Oh. It might be Kyle. Yeah, I think it Kyle. is Kyle. That yeah. sounds about right. Yeah. All right. Well, I, damn, do we got any? Well, you know what? I'll, I'll, I showed this more? last time. Yeah, I, I just came here to see what you had. I got more. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh we didn't wow. Really talk about it much last night. Civil Danny. Oh yes. Shit. Yes. yes. Civil this Danning. Crazy costume from Battle Beyond the Stars. Mm -hmm. no, Outrageous. She's yeah. <laughs> the Howling Two. <It's> just <laughs> hiding, just enough, and I don't. We are not sure if it's totally hiding it. <laughs> uh, it is like teetering on the edge and ready to, you know, burst out. It's pretty rowdy, but yeah, she wore that in Battle Beyond the Stars, which mm -hmm. is actually a. A cool little Star Wars knockoff movie, man. Yeah. I, I, oh, I think he said that Battle movie. of the Network Stars. Remember that? Oh, yeah. That was a good show, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you like uh, have all your different network stars having little competitions and all that. Uh, that was epic back in the day. Those were like huge rating things, too, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Those are some. You had to watch that, that on the week. What, it was like a Saturday morning thing. Yeah, you had to watch that because it was just like every star was was in those things. Oh, Fraser being the expert here, freaking plastic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you have a chance. <laughs> Calm down, Fraser. Flames. Right. I, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Hold on, let me see. Are those? I guess you could say they're flames. Like fingers to me. Yeah, it look like um, <laughs> misfits' fingers or some shit. Who knows? Yeah, whatever. Remember that redhead girl that played Red Sonia? Oh, that what? Brigitte Nelson, right? Um, yeah, I think they dyed her hair for that one. Um, that, yeah, uh, that is, um, yeah, she's uh, uh, Brigitte. Brigitte is like iconic. Yeah, she and is. still she is. Was, she was in um, Cobra. Yep, Cobra. Cobra mm -hmm. fucking rules. You like Cobra, mm -hmm. Francisco? You gotta like Cobra. The solo movie. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. a canon film. Uh, amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing film. Soundtrack, it, it, amazing. It's just great stuff. What is, his, the, what um, is, the, is that the one, uh, Something Desire or something? No, or no, am I thinking of another thriller movie? Some song, Something Desire, Burning Desire. Or, uh, no, Tanya Roberts? 
Well, I mean, that's we're saving some for next week, right? <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't do everything. Uh, no, Skywalker but then we said he was going to come on, so I'm, I'm I'm trying to give him some time. I'm guessing right? you I'm guessing you've mentioned uh, Gilligan's Island. Yeah, Coburn was amazing. Do you know what, dude? I don't think I did. Nah, the Marianne Don, Don, or Don Wells and uh, Don Wells and uh, what was Ginger's real name? Tiffany. Oh, pictures Tina Louise, Tina Louise, Tina Louise, Tina Louise, Tina Louise. Yeah, Tina Louise. They they said that and she was Donna hard Wells. to work with. Really? Yeah. And let me get a Gilligan's Island fucking pit. I need one of the whole cast. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, my background is like freaking me out. I look at it. <laughs> you're actually just like, in your, you're sitting on your porch and that's what's going on right now. Yeah. I was going to put the, I was going to put the scene from, uh, uh, last times, but I was like, I want. We got another guest. Oh, hey, Skywalker. Uh -huh. Skywalker. Hey. Can y'all hear up, me? Dude? Yeah, I hear you fine. Hey, much this? love, guys. How are you Celebrity doing? Hotline, celebrity hotline and shit. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Man, man, celebrity look, hotline. I came over here to kick it with the real celebrity, which is Retro Nerd Girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I'm, just, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm just happy to well, be yeah. on a panel with Retro again, right? I Fair know. Point. We haven't done, we haven't talked or anything, or we haven't got this. I think we've both been so busy. Um, which is good, right? It's good to be busy, but it's so hard yes. not to be able to connect with friends. So, mm. <laughs> well, um, check your check your DMs later because I okay. slid in there trying to trying to set something up. So uh, okay. hopefully we can get hopefully we can get to that pretty soon. But okay. hey, much love, y'all. But look, I got I have a problem now. Look, I didn't watch the first episode, not all of it, but I need to make sure that y'all covered the one person that you guys bet not have been going through this list and not talked about yet, which is Pam Greer. Has Pam yeah. Greer been discussed? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Get, okay. All right. All right. All right. Not, not deep, but I did show a, a what? Pam Greer. I showed Pam Greer we, last week. We did, yeah. Okay. Well, we, why don't you discuss your feelings about Pam Greer? Yeah. <laughs> since this, this is very important, we're going to let you go on on this. Uh, she was Man, amazing. Look, Pam Greer is like one of the hottest women of Hollywood in Hollywood history. All right. All right. And, and we must pay respects to her and all her gloriousness. Uh, so true, shouts so out to Pam Greer for um, for really sparking something in me in my childhood, you know what I'm saying? That I didn't know was there. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, first of all, okay, her figure oh, uh, man. was insane. Um, because I when I was little, I just only True recognized that. her from like her face. But then I, I think she there was a scene where she you know got into a bikini and i was like Dang. what is mm -hmm. going on here <laughs> but she has had an amazing um uh figure uh ju just incredible they're un unbelievable actually very unbelievable yes shouts out to pam greer uh and yo yo i'm I'm so happy that you guys are doing uh, this series. This is super dope, and I think you guys should keep it up. And I love that Retro is um, bringing her list of babes to the forefront <laughs> as well. That's Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to, you know. It Look just at that too, woman, man. Come too on much now. of us just, That's you know, unbelievable. All, yeah. all guy stuff on here. I mean, I'm sure the guys love it. But now nah, we had to throw a curveball in and get Retro on here. And <laughs> it, yeah. yeah, I mean. Wow. Those are unbelievable dimensions. All natural. None of that, yeah, you know, yeah, enhanced bullshit nowadays. Pam Greer. Yeah, we did talk about her, Sky. She right. deserves more than and more than an honorable mention, Negron. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we'll let you do the Pam Greer dedication episode. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, that, 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 I'm that's... Gonna a little bit more prep time for that. Yeah. You're yeah, that's arrest, actually sugar. something I should write down <laughs> because um, she's definitely some, she would fit into my category of retro. And um, uh, she has a long list of movies. Uh, oh, that yeah, she dude. was a part of. I don't. I'm. I'm not familiar with every movie that she did because um, that. I guess that time period it was is still a little foggy in the 70s. Uh -huh. uh, there, there are lots of movie I saw, movies I saw in the 70s that I don't mm -hmm. remember, and then some I I can't. I could never forget. Um, but um, she was in, I believe, Coffee. Was one of them right? Yes. Coffee. Yes. She was in coffee. Yeah. And uh there was another there was another one, uh really famous one, um, uh, but I can't I can't remember the name of it. Uh, she was in um um Blackula too. <laughs> hey, I love those black little movies. They're good. Yep. <laughs> she was in the in Blackula too, where she played um uh, a voodoo a witch that uh, helped to bring Blackula back to life again, and he had uh, he was had her under his control. And it was really um, an interesting, um, you know, black exploitation movie that was uh, you know was strong with the force, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Justin Wilde mentions Boxy Brown, and yeah, that's the other one I was just thinking about. Yeah, I think uh, that's like probably the, like one of the main the ones. Famous that, yeah. movie, yeah. And um, he also mentions Jackie Brown, uh, which was Tarantino's, and uh, yeah, I I, didn't I get was to see just that. about to get to that. Yeah, even by the time that we got to Jackie Brown and like Original Gangsters, which was another movie that she was in that oh. I really liked. Uh, even by that time, yo, she was still a uh, stone cold fox, yo, and uh -huh. I was still in because uh, my dad was a huge Pam Greer fan, so obviously, <laughs> I, I grew up watching, uh, I, I like kind of grew up watching a, a bunch of her older stuff, but even by the time that Jackie Brown came and original gangsters, she was still beautiful as ever. And uh, yeah, I just had I just had to make sure that we got that mention in. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> she also came You're out like on a good, um, uh, feed there. <laughs> she came out on um like Martin, I think, as one of the guests one time. And um, the was she on the Wayne's Brothers too? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm she probably was. Yeah. For some reason, I'm not remembering. You know what? I, for some reason, I think she was, bro. Cause wasn't one of them trying to like holler at her or something? I kind of vaguely so. recall. That. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. She was. I, I'm pretty sure she was on Martin, but I, I might be getting both of the shows mixed up. Let's see. Uh, I uh, think she, I, I think she was in. Um, she came the, out on the Wayne's Brothers. Yeah, for sure. Just mm -hmm. confirmed. And Martin. Um, I think she was also in. Yep, and she came out on Martin as well. So yeah, she was making the rounds in the '80s, still on all the popular shows. Oh yeah, I I, I think she. The was Wayans in. Brothers that was in the '90s, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was. Yeah, like, that was early '90s. Was 90s oh, mid, yeah. right? Kind of even. Yeah, oh, no, really? that was like mid '90s, bro. That was like mid to late '90s. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I think I think she was in um, the second. Um, Plinkin movie. Um, what is it? it it's called um, uh, Escape from LA. I know it's not as good as the other one. We oh, that's the Escape from LA. Yeah. 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 She is yeah. in Escape from LA. Yeah. And she's she was really beautiful in that, too. Did you see Original Gangsters Retro? No, I didn't. Oh, my God. That is a, that is a great movie. It, it has... Um, like Jim Brown in it, uh, Fred Williamson, uh, a bunch of like OG actors and actresses that uh, play like um, some older kind of community members that 
uh, were gang members back in the day, and then they see all the newer gang members kind of like messing everything up, and they kind of have to come back and take the town over. It's it's a it's a super dope movie. Um, it actually has uh, if you watch the Jamie Foxx show, the guy that played Braxton, he's the villain of like that movie. It's so funny seeing him play a bad guy. Cause uh, he, he totally can't do it, but uh, still, <laughs> that movie was great though. Yeah. Austin over here talking about the only retro baby he, he got in this category is Beyonce and Austin Powers and Gold Member from the seventy. Austin, get out of here! <laughs> I think Beyonce is a modern day. She's still rocking her thing. You know, we gotta. We're not gonna call her retro yet, Dad. Get yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show this one from Frazier because he, he was um, saying this earlier. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Dolly Parton from the um, best little house in Texas. She she is um, an incredible force of nature. Um, I, I saw her incredible. in um, I was it was um, the Thanksgiving parade and I saw her like up close, like she was like uh, arms distance away from me. She's so tiny and so, so oh, damn. small. Real life. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. She's, she's so small. Um, but she has such a big personality and really, really sweet to just about, you know, just everybody. She's just so, she has like an, a light when she. You never hear anybody saying around. bad things about her. No, right? like, no. She's just one of those she, people. Just one of those people that everybody pretty much likes, and um, you know, we everybody likes the way she conducts herself. And like I like I said, just in person, it's almost like she has a glow around her. She just emanates really like good energy. For sure. Oh yes, yeah. and nine to five, she was she was amazing in that movie. You know, I saw nine to five when I was a kid, and I enjoyed it. But when you see it as an adult, it's even funnier. <laughs> lot, you know, a lot of the stuff like, you know, the pressures of the office and all that. Oh, yeah, know, all that yeah. that crap that goes on. I mean, I know, can, Austin. I was just busting your chops, dude. I know what you were doing, dude. Just you can really, time. you can really identify with it more now that, um, that you're an adult. But, um, it, it, I think when I saw it when I was a kid, I thought it was really, um, like wacky. Yeah. And like, what is going on here? Um, yes. Uh, but like but you're now, laughing course, at the wacky situations and this and that, but you didn't really get, you know, but yeah, yeah. But the back, you know, what it really was all about, you know. Okay, and, um, um Fraser got a question from Francisco. I think we already yeah. asked him this. <laughs> Fraser wants to know, Francisco, who is your dream girl? Uh you are Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Fraser. If you um keep up with this, who knows what can happen? I mean, now now you see why. <laughs> beefy, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> beefy over there. Ever since he's been watching J Dog, he's just gotten motivated. Man, he is yeah, healthy and. Uh, hey, I I got something up. I got something obscure. You're talking about Paul Dolly Parton. Or when, uh -huh. when I was a kid, I think it was on Sesame Street. There was a, I don't think the character even came on that much, but there was one called Polly Darton. I don't know if anybody ever remembers seeing sounds, that. Uh -uh. But, on, but it was on Sesame Street. So, so one of the Muppets was Polly Darton, had, had the white oh wig and everything. Oh my God. And that was That's always, awesome. always, always, always like that. That was one of my, uh, and, and, and I need to look it up, but yeah, I always like I remember that as a kid, but I don't know if it was a dream, but I'm pretty sure that was I, I couldn't make that up. So, uh, oh my god, I'm looking at it right now. So hilarious! I, I know that. I'm gonna have to show this. So, yeah, she's Polly purple. Darton. Polly yeah, Darton, she's, dude. She's purple, and she has like the best hair ever. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I don't think that character that Muppet was on many times. It's one of those. But I could be wrong, but I remember seeing that. I'm like, I don't know why that stuck with me. So That's cool. hilarious, dude. Now, one thing I want to say about Dolly Parton is that she um, is in, an amazing songwriter. Um, yeah, she she and, writes her music. Yep. Yeah, and, and you'd be surprised how many songs she's written for 
um, for a lot of other artists or a lot of others uh, artists have covered her music. Uh, just incredible stuff. Yep. If you ever oh, get yeah. a chance to see that video of, it's her. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I get nervous when I get uh, around uh, <laughs> Carl. Carl's a celebrity. I get nervous around him. Oh yeah, I'm the celebrity. <laughs> but, the, but there's a there's a song. I'm sure it's got a billion views. So I'm sure everybody's seen it. Ah, but, she's uh, so cute. It's it's Dolly. Yeah, there it is. Stop Polly oh, Darden. God. I was wrong. Want, <laughs> I want one. Oh my god, I want her. Hey, oh hey, god, that is hilarious. Isn't she yep. so cute? That, that is hilarious. Funny, dude. That's funny. I like that. That yeah, just goes to show how popular she was. That yeah, yeah that was like damn that might have been, Sesame Street. Yeah, you know, when I was watching it, that was that was a while back, you know. So um and I, I, she, she doesn't take things personally because I think some other people would have been like, "Oh, they made a, a, a doll, you know, a Muppet after me. That how dare they?" But she, she always takes things in She'll stride. Take it. Yeah, she, she's more like, "Wow, you know, that's cool, you know." Like, yeah, she's not gonna get offended. Yo, oh, Dolly Parton seems so cool. She just tells everybody what's on her mind and everything. Yes. She's like. She's like a she's like a super dope person. I can always love and respect the people that uh tell you exactly how they feel, like with mm -hmm. no chaser. What were you saying, to Francisco? Oh, uh, so that song I was talking about it's called "The Sweetest Gift." It's Dolly Parton, Linda Ronstadt, and Emmy Lou Harris. Oh Holy, wow! Holy Listen God. to that. You're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. You're crying, kind of deal. You know what I mean? What? I want to know is how hot is Jolene to still Dolly Parton's man? Yeah, right. Oh yeah. Of like, oh, good lord, <laughs> you stole Dolly Parton's man. Hey Sky, did you see this? That's yet? a great song. I got my shirt in my cyborg one. No, I haven't seen it yet, bro. Oh, I ain't been. I ain't got none of my shirts yet. I've been trying not to, you know, flip out on into the people because I know they're super busy. But uh, you know, I yeah, I I ain't got none of mine yet. Uh, but that cyborg shirt is looking fresh, big homie. Yeah, I was like, "Oh shit, it came cool." Carl, one, one, one last thing. But uh, I'm gonna finish. In, oh, I'm gonna go yeah, finish watching the game. Uh huh. But uh, but uh, to tie in, since you and I talk about metal and all that on on our other show, on other shows and stuff. But Dolly Parton is so. I guess beloved by everybody that there was a there was a video of. Rob Hoffer from Judas Priest, like being giddy as can be. Oh, he was didn't on, he do a song with her? Yeah, well, he was on stage with her at some point. You can see him back, like he was just like, holy crap, I can't believe I'm staying yeah. right wow. next to Bob. Yeah, yeah. So that was, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So the, it was like a big story, you know. I, I think he might have thrown in a, a, a word or two here in the song, but it was awesome because he, uh, he, he was all giddy. What's Man. up, Alex? Talks? What's going on, buddy? Yeah. Um, if you ever want to get a good laugh, go on YouTube and look up Dolly Parton's appearances on David Letterman. Oh yeah. Um, Letter Letterman is trying so hard to hit on her all the time, but <laughs> it's just hilarious. It, I mean, their interaction's great. And she like you're saying, she takes it with stride and it's funny. Oh, stuff, she man. rules. She rules. Yep. Yeah. Hey, um, did this already come out, Skywalker? Your talk um with Raw Talks? But I know I saw that listed today. Uh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. It premiered earlier uh, at 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I was able to get in the chat for a little bit uh, while, while it was going on. Yes, uh, that talk was super great. Uh, I got to, I got to interview the homie Rock Talks and put a face with the avatar, right, and all the work that he's right. been doing. So that was amazing. You guys should check that out. Uh, as well. And we also got a super fire panel tonight. Uh, this discussion will be very, very fun. I will be linking up with the one and only Sil Abdul, oh, uh, Peely, Mr. Wes Ashley, and Leon of the New Geeks. Right? Uh, this wow. is going to be a great discussion. Uh, the four horsemen of the Snyderverse are coming together. And uh, <laughs> this is about to be a wonderful, a wonderful discussion. Dude, I saw your um thumbnail for that, and I was like, well, are they doing a witching hour episode? It looked pretty metal, dude. Um, 
<laughs> hey, bro. The four horsemen <laughs> the look four good. Horsemen coming, bro. Behold a pale horse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, Carl, I'm going to go ahead and, and jump off. I'm going to go finish right, watching Thanks for this. coming by, Francisco. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, dude. Great to see you. Hey, everybody, go subscribe. Jamming out all badass. Watch John. Oh, go, go, watch that in there, that, go, go watch that episode I did yesterday. I, th I think anybody will enjoy it. If you like Jeopardy and you like dumb stuff, you'll like, you'll it's, like it's so check it out. It's, it's pretty funny. So anyway, yeah. later. Nick really ruined it. I would. I was gonna say, Francisco, are you gonna go jam out all badass right now? <laughs> yeah, but hey, sorry about that. But he's gonna go he's um, good, watch his baseball game. He's an Astros maniac. So mm. we were very um, lucky even to have his presence come by. He took uh. time away from his game to watch, um, hang out with us. And um, I don't know if you know. Um, Mikey obviously couldn't make it tonight. Hopefully everything works out for him. He had the family emergency. Not Mikey. I'm going to be worrying, but you know, Mikey had to take the day off. Hopefully everything works out and we'll see him back here soon. Shouts out to Mr. Sutton and his entire family, you know. Yeah. I think we're pretty much done here, guys. Um, um, Skywalker, I know you just plugged it, but you want to plug it again, your show tonight and whatever else you got going on. Oh, yeah, look, thanks for having me on. I just came through there and talked to Retro. Honestly, no. like, anytime. I know, it ain't about me. <laughs> nah, hey, hey, I ain't gonna even lie, bro. Like, I literally was like, yo, man, I gotta talk to Retro today. You know what I'm but, hey, that's real talk. Yo, but, uh, yes, I am, I am so happy to be here and be able to engage with you guys. Um, Yes, check out the interview. Uh, I think it's like a little over 30 minutes that I dropped with Rock Talks earlier. Uh, the guy that's been behind a bunch of the promo and marketing the, the pictures that you guys have been seeing for the hashtag sale community. Uh, so that was dope. And yes, we are definitely uh, delving into this James Gunn topic uh, once again tonight for a definitive discussion on all this stuff uh, with that illustrious panel that I just talked about earlier, which will be myself, Sil Abdul, Peely slash Mr. West Astley, and Leon of the New Geeks. This is going to be a very, very fun conversation. So if you're trying to have some labs while uh, getting some good information and getting some game, uh, be sure to come on through tonight. So much Skywalker love, y'all, and thanks for having me on. On Skywalker's Wait. channel tonight, yes, you gotta watch that. You said Skywalker the what? Skywalker the Jedi's channel. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no, nah, yeah. it's gonna be no. This is gonna be a classic stream. I feel great about it, and I can already tell uh, the the energy surrounding this thing is incredible. Uh, like everybody's super excited to be having this conversation. Like everybody's yeah. super excited to be having this conversation, so I can't wait to get to it tonight. It's uh, so funny because somebody today asked me like that like, same exact question. Um, so I'm gonna, I guess I need to do some homework by by watching the stream tonight so I can answer them if they ask me yeah. that again. <laughs> Retro. This is part two. This is part two. I actually like. I don't even rewatch my streams. Honestly, I don't like. I just never really rewatch them because contrary to popular belief I don't like listening to myself talk <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I actually went back and listened to all of part one and yeah there was so much that we discussed in part one Eddie? like like literal evidence and like a breadcrumb of, uh, <laughs> like a breadcrumb trail okay. of just like all of these examples of James Gunn being obsessed with Zack Snyder and, and like his fan base. So, uh, part two is definitely going to add on to that, and we're looking to do that in oh, a big Brogu way. Brogu said that. Yeah, Brogu asked me that same question. Okay, thank you, Brogu, <laughs> for refreshing my memory. Yeah. Okay, so I have it in my queue uh, to watch that in right after this, while I I do some other stuff going on, and so I'll be listening into your first one. Um, hopefully, catch your second one uh, tonight. That sounds really amazing. I. I didn't know you guys were doing this. This is great. 
Oh, thank you so much, Retro. You know I love getting getting to just talk with you and pick your brain <laughs> about all this stuff, and hopefully we get to do something soon. I hope so, too. We need to do something soon. And Retro, do you got anything you want to plug before we get out of here? Um, basically just, uh, you know, guys, you, I do a lot of retro reviews and live streams, uh, live stream Wednesday, Friday and Saturday, uh, Saturdays, I usually have, um, a really cool watch party, uh, that, uh, of, of some sort this week, we're watching Outland, uh, 1981. Um, oh, and damn. this, oh yeah, <laughs> this Friday, I'm actually going to be taking part in the part two of a series that I'm doing, which is fixing the Terminator franchise in which I will be asking some, um, a few people to come on the, sh on the show and tell me their ideas for fixing the franchise. We do have uh, one uh, set up and I was trying to get Charles Austin to come on. I don't know if he'll be able to. And I myself have, have a story plan and uh, hopefully I will be able to see you guys over on my channel uh, discussing some of these interesting topics. Awesome. Yeah, if you haven't subbed the retro channel, Aww. you are like missing out on some of the best YouTube content out there. <laughs> well presented, got slide facts. I mean, <laughs> I thought I knew everything about the Conan movie. Then I watched your um, Conan review retro oh, know, wow. episode, and I was like, damn, I didn't know that. Hell yeah, retro Yo. rules, dude. <laughs> you know which one got me, bro? It was her review of uh, The Fifth Element, bro. I was like, oh. yo, it literally made me feel like I never saw that movie before. <laughs> I was like, yo, does. I, some of her I, facts I, are like, what? How'd you go oh, down? I was I like, yo, that. I've watched this movie 45 times. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, literally, she's telling me all this <laughs> stuff that I never knew before. So uh -huh. get on over there. And yes, uh, that How to Fix the Terminator franchise, I actually stopped in for a little bit uh, for part one. It's mm. a super dope series, and make sure that you guys uh, tune in to that because uh, she always does great work in all of her, her breakdowns. Everything is super well thought out and put together. Oh, gosh, you guys, are, my cheeks are starting to hurt. You guys are just <laughs> making me blush. Thank you. Well, you know, so it, facts are facts, Retro. It's, it, it is what it is. <laughs> and, um, and again, if you missed the beginning facts of the show, um, the Queen <laughs> of Halloween. That's my favorite um, retro bay, by the way. I'm just gonna... oh yeah, she's amazing, amazing but lady. Look, that's the that picture of her in that coffin. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite um, is my wife. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Disclaimer, right? But uh, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but uh, no, look with uh, Elvira. I was first introduced with um, to her. When I was young, uh, she, uh, my dad used to have these like VHS tapes with uh, some of the collections yeah. on there with those old movies like uh, what was it, uh, the head that wouldn't die uh, and yeah, all like that, that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The B movies yeah. like from the fifties and sixties, seventies. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and she was hosting, you know, um, these films and stuff and. I was just like, yo, who is that? And why do I feel so? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of young men have that feeling, bro. Um, I remember we used to have a, a horror movie it's on Saturday nights, right? And it, it was like local station thing. And we had this guy called the Reaper. And it was like some you know guy dressed up like the Grim Reaper. Uh, yeah, yeah. And you know, they were pretty good, you know. But so one night, you know, we were waiting for waiting for the news in and watching horror movies, and um, it wasn't the Grim Reaper, and it was you know the mistress of the dark, you know. But you know how it starts, it don't show her, show her right away till the doors open. And um, so you know, whatever, you know, it happened and the doors open and Elvira comes walking through, and me and my brother looked at her like, you know, like of course, like two you know, young teenagers were like, What <laughs> the who is that? What? Yes. That ain't the Reaper, bro. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it, it was on. This ain't the Reaper, bro. <laughs> yeah, this exactly. is a whole, like, whole <laughs> other thing right here, bro. What happened to the Reaper? And <laughs> no, why don't the Reaper I care was anymore? forgotten, dude? Like in like five minutes, we didn't care about the Reaper. This is this whole viral was the thing, you know. Like, right. yes. That's and I think funny. the other the other piece to her that is really interesting is how funny she is. 
Um, oh yeah, yeah she, the comedy that she puts in with with her whole shtick is like, uh, this is this is a fun person you could hang out with, you know. It, it, it wasn't just about the spookiness and you know, like oh tonight we're going to be. Ooh. No, she was yeah, doing I, I like know she was she saying was, retro that because yeah, she, she looked like she would be like, but her character is totally not that. Mm -hmm, like she's funny was, and you know, oh, yeah. jokes yeah, and, and shit, and it's like someone you want to party with, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovable personality. Um, but right. uh, Austin was asking me what time. I'm not sure where you are, but for Central um, Standard Time, the, the stream tomorrow is going to be at 3 o'clock. Um, but uh, if you go to my YouTube page and go under live streams, it should be listed right there. You can see what time it is going to be for you. Yeah, man. Go subscribe to Retro Nerd Girl. Oh, go subscribe you. to Skywalker the Jedi. Go oh. subscribe. To jamming out all bad and subscribe to El Necron if you haven't. Okay, anybody's oh, yeah. watching that hasn't done so, subscribe to El Necron, like the channel. I was telling people today, liking uh videos really really helps uh push out the videos to other uh to more people. So, yeah, I it's mean, very very important that if you're watching and you're liking what you're watching, go ahead and, and hit the like button. Yeah, I mean, you know, on us, like the metal people, it's weird, we don't like the you know, we don't say it enough, but it's really true. If you if you're gonna watch it and you enjoyed it, just hit the like button. It does help. Yeah. You know, the channel grow. And I mean, not that we're expecting to you know be TikToker famous or something, but you know, it's nicer well, to have a bigger sub. So, um, don't you know, be too cool to like the stream, guys. That's what he's yeah, trying exactly to say. Exactly. <laughs> <it. laughs> well, yeah. And also about that. And also about that is that YouTube it has this very smart AI that is going to push out your your content to people who like this kind of stuff. So it, it's not just going to go out to anybody willy nilly. It's going to go out to people who like this kind of stuff. But um, it, so. we the people who who do like it, we do have to say, hey, we like it. So uh, the AI knows, like, okay, so we we can be confident that somebody else will like it. And it needs that I, social proof. I, I know it's weird because my you know my channel is a little all over the place in content, but you know that's how I am as a person. I think, and I think a lot of people in our community are like that too. We're more than one trick ponies, and um, we're I able think to talk about a lot of things, you know. Shit. But it's really odd. I find your channel to be very connected. I think I think it's all. Yes, you know what's up. But, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> I think I feel like it is very connected. Uh, so I, I think I think you're doing such a great job over here. And uh, same thing with uh, Skywalker. You love what you're doing uh, just in general, uh, the time and the energy that you're putting towards the cell movement, but also okay. what you're doing to your channel. Your channel is, is, is very specific and, and people like that. You have a lot of engagement. Even for your numbers, you, you should be very pr proud of the engagement and the amount of people that watch your shows um, while you're live. That's pretty impressive. No, this guy's channel. Oh, is my awesome. God. Y'all yeah, stop it, man. Come on. I, I'm going to give you your flowers, it. dude. Your, <laughs> your playback, as opposed to your subscribers, it, it's a pretty pretty damn kick ass, man. Yeah. Look, look at, just look at your numbers. And also, um, YouTube values, um, they value less the numbers, but more the watch time. So, oh, like how long someone actually stays connected watch to Watch time, yeah. yeah. So watch time means everything. And so it, it even you can have uh, like a lot of subscribers. Uh, it's not going to matter if you don't get, you don't have those, that watch time. So uh, watch time matters. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really know, like, cause obviously, you know, I've always seen what my watch hours, num what, what, what my watch hours are, but I didn't know uh what they were what that what that number for me actually meant until I saw somebody else's and I was like oh shit yeah and this you, you, platform was like way bigger than mine and I was like <laughs> I got yeah. like three times the watch hours I was like damn okay uh this yeah. is kind of crazy <laughs> this is kind of crazy oh, that's yeah, what I meant yeah. it's all about that engagement and yeah. the longer the audience is engaged with you, YouTube says, wow, you know, they're actually doing something. Because, you know, you're not just surfing through the channel, you know, like one, ah, oh, this is boring, next, next. And they actually stay engaged with you. That's like kind of, I guess you can see how that would be like the main selling point. Yeah. And there are always going to be people 
um, no matter what the channel is that are going to watch your stuff that aren't subscribed to you, but they regularly check in your stuff. I kind of um, used to be like that, which way back, I didn't really understand the whole subscribing. I didn't have like a, you know, like a YouTube account. Mm -hmm. So I would just tune in and watch things, you know, till I actually mm -hmm. made an account, you know, I'm like, oh, you can subscribe. Now I see what they're saying mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. back in the past. Yeah, uh, the, all that stuff counts. So, um, yeah, you're doing amazing. Um, and I know people with like 30, uh, 30 K and they can barely get. Uh, 11 people to watch them um, live. But they have like numbers, like three or four people that will tune in regularly for them. And I'm like, wow, they, they need to find out what Skywalker's doing. <laughs> it's real. That's the difference, right, Sky? It's real. It's not. Man, fun. look, bro. Look, look, I got to get retro back on the platform, <laughs> y'all. Yeah, hey, look. Y'all know I mean every time I ain't talking to retro for too long, I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, and nah, it's just it's super dope, man. Um being surrounded by all of you guys and to be able to work and collab with y'all, man. It's been it's been incredible. Like, um, I always say like, um, I know I don't really be going into like what I do. Um, in my personal life um, on YouTube, but uh, like my job, like my regular job, like I love my job. I love what I do. And yeah. YouTube has been the only thing that I've loved doing like more than my job. Wow. Right? Uh, because uh, just meeting all of you guys and being able to collab and just have these dope discussions, man. Like, yeah. yo, it's so hard to just find people to talk about stuff with, right? That's why I get so excited when I can talk to Retro because I know that any question that I have, we can talk about it, about movies, about whatever, right? So just being able to have these dialogues uh, been very special for me. And, uh, yo, I've been kind of privately telling the cool table behind doors, like, Yo, I'm about to really ramp up. Um, e even with my content already being ramped up, um, I'm about to up my output even more. And oh, wow. I want to focus on working with great people and collabing with you guys because uh, that is what has been super dope. And uh, I will not change that for the world or for anything. Uh, much love to all you guys that have been collabing and helping with the cell movement man it's been it's been so tremendous and um when when this thing comes to fruition we're gonna all celebrate because it's gonna be a group effort and we're all gonna be able to take part in this thing uh you know uh at one time and i'm super excited for that and um i'm also very appreciative to have met all of you guys um. Oh, it's, so it's, it's the feelings all mutual because um, yes. I had no idea I was gonna be doing this, but it ended up happening, and I enjoy it too. And um, this man down here, Skywalker, was the one that kind of really pushed me into it. Now I guessed on other shows, but I never thought about doing a YouTube channel until Sky talked me into it. So it's all Sky's fault. You guys are great at it. I'm like, wow, well, what a great, um, you know, you guys are just taken to it very well. So, great yeah. job, everybody. <laughs> it's all organic and it's awesome, right? Yeah. All right, man. Well, that's it. We're at like a little over two hours. I think we had a fun conversation. Oh, it was really great. Mikey was missed. Yeah. He would have even probably pushed this over the top, but he'll shout be out to Mystic Mikey. Yes, yes, shout out to Mikey. Get Mikey. well. I'm not you, but you know, your situation. Oh, yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're thinking all, of you. Hoping, and hoping that all turns out well for you, bro. Yeah. You know. And you just get past it. All right. That's it. We are shutting oh, wait, down. Real quick. Hey, okay, hey, what's up? Look at this one. Cammed up. I had to cam up for this. I had to cam up. Because y'all see what shirt that I got on, right? Yes. Hey, I got stopped like three times today. Yo, that's such a cool shirt. Cool shirt, but bro. Cool shirt, bro. Da -da -da. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, more that. Times <laughs> it's like yeah. that. It's like that. You know what I'm saying? That shirt is nice. Oh man. That that I mean, yeah, that 
But you know, our shirts too are too shabby. I was saying, so we got the solo guy. Bro, so, bro, uh, wait till I get my shirts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shirt envy. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, be tuned this Saturday. We're gonna have a big announcement on Saturday um, for cartoons and cereal. Oh Max. shit! I don't even know what he's talking about, so I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. All right, man. We are out. I'm gonna find my little outro video that I made. It's very new wave, and it's dedicated to Mikey. Uh-huh. And then show's over. All right, guys. Thanks, man. Have a good one.